Hey friends, it's Kip Icon, and first of all, Happy Pride! This is a Pride Month special. This is Butterfly Soup, and I'm super excited about playing this. Uh, my friend Kit said nothing but wonderful things about this visual novel, and he's actually the one who got me to play Doki Doki Literature Club, so uh, I suppose he's got pretty good taste, eh? Um, I think that this is a game about a bunch of gay girls, and I'm super stoked about it. I, th I think I'm going to play... So I know how visual novels kind of work, and usually you can woo multiple people, uh, th you know, via multiple routes. I think I'm just going to play through one route of this game. So we'll figure out how, how many episodes that is or how long that is. It might just be one episode. We'll just have to see, A. Eh? So without further ado, here we go. Hmm. Is that... Is that us? Dia. The summer between third and fourth grade. I remember it well. Actually, I don't. Uh, once upon a time... Yikes! There lived a princess called Min Seo. She liked weapons. Everyone was terrified of her. She'd threaten you with knives and steal and break your things. She always got sent to the principal's office because she was bad. Still, she was a lovely princess, and tragically, she was cursed to prick her finger on a spindle and die. What happened to my... Okay, there we go. Sure enough, one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Or at least, she was supposed to. Instead, the princess sat up abruptly and said... <laughs> Yikes, alright. Min Seo. I like uh, the Hot Wheels hoodie. This is the worst story in history. I'm escaping. Wait, Min, that's not how it goes. I'm right here, the evil dragon. I killed you already. Huh? With what? A gun. You don't have a gun. I made one out of rocks. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> ah, the hero has arrived. As Mincio's twin, he's trying to reason with her. I do like the... Arthur shirt. Lots of um, branded stuff in here, eh? June Seo. Min, that's impossible. Who cares? If I have a gun, I win. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, that is our character. I assume that this is us, Dia. It's difficult to argue against Min's brand of logic. Okay, you win. Let's just start over. This time, someone else be the princess, not me. I'm the only girl left, so I guess that's me. Fine, Adia does seem more like the princess type anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You're really pretty, and it's cute how your hair curls like that. It makes you look like a princess. Uh, I just meant that she's less violent, but whatever. <laughs> Second try. Once upon a time, aha, there lived a girl named Dia. She was really quiet. It wasn't that she had nothing to say, it was more like she was afraid if she opened her mouth something would come out that shouldn't. Boy howdy, well, I I've definitely been there. She once held onto an apple core for 45 minutes because she didn't want people to see her walk across the classroom to the trash can. It was that kind of quiet. She was also insanely athletic. There were rumors that under her shirt she had a six pack. Tragically, despite how buff she was, this princess was also cursed to touch a spindle and die. Gosh dang it! All these princesses. Horrible fates, I tell ya. And one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Nothing could break the spell but her true love's kiss. For many years, she... Dia, get up! I'm here to rescue you! Ha! Only the hero can wake her! That's me! I'm the hero! Wait, no? It's supposed to be Junsio. No, it's me! Huh? But if you're the hero, then what am I? A gun! What? <laughs> Min grabs Jun's arm and aims it at the dragon. Bang! You're dead! Nice try, but I deflected the bullet with my own bullet. I have a gun too. Why, you're a dragon. This is America! Everyone has a gun! Oh, yikes. Dia rises to her feet. I also have a gun. 
Ooh. Let us... We're going to shoot the deflected bullet, obviously. Deflected the deflected bullet with my own bullet. So Min's original bullet is going towards him again. That's unnecessarily complicated. Why didn't he just shoot him directly? This is way cooler! Yeah. Nice try, but too bad. The bullet bounces off me. How is that possible? My dragon scales are, are stronger than tank armor. Take that! Maybe we can resolve this without fighting, then. Let's talk it over. Violence solves everything! <laughs> I'm making a new gun with rocks! Are you replacing me? Yeah! Sorry. Bang! Dragon's dead. Uh, did you forget I'm bulletproof? But my gun didn't shoot a bullet! My gun shot. A smaller gun! Wow. Which shot a knife? Oh my gosh! Which exploded? Yikes, that's... I mean, that's terrifying. What was the point of the smaller gun in the middle? It's there to shoot the knife! No, but why can't the original gun shoot that? I mean, that's a good point. Min gives June an incredulous look. Because it was shooting off the smaller gun! Never mind. Okay, so let's say my elbow is injured now. So, if you touch that, I lose. Arrgh! Min lunges at him. He sidesteps and darts up the steps to the slide. When Min catches up, he spins so his back is to the wall. She looks like she's having trouble. Uh, do you need help? What? No! The evil dragon faints to the right. Min falls for it and he rushes past her, back the way he came. <gasps> Min trips and face plants on the bridge! <gasps> Before Min can see, Dia quickly picks up the evil dragon and hurls him off the playground structure like a sack of potatoes. Wah! Wait, you're the princess. You can't just do that. Dot, 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 dot. But why? Oh, nice. Tia throws him off the playground structure, too. That's right. As he disappears over the edge, Min pulls herself back to her feet. Where is everyone? They... Balcony collapsed. Castle was under construction. Yeah. <laughs> I rescued you. My hero. Yeah. I'm your hero. <laughs> Aw, Min is struggling to Princess carry Dia down the slide with her. Dia could destroy her in a single punch if she wanted to, but she's patiently going along with it. I owe you my life. How can I repay you? You can r repay me with a, a kit, thud. <laughs> my name is Dia. I don't really know what else to say about myself. I'm pretty boring. The other girl is Min Sio. Everyone calls her Min. She's so cool. Do you see that thing on her arm? She drew a giant dagger on it with Sharpie, like a tattoo. And in class, she makes ninja stars out of binder paper and throws them at people. She stamps them with staples so they hurt more. But she never throws them at me. I think it's mainly because I'm the only girl, only other girl she knows who likes baseball. We both used to think we were the only one in the world, so we were both really excited to meet each other. I really like her. Watching the pros play baseball always makes me so jealous. It must be so fun being on a real team like that. The catcher's gone up to the mound for a conference with his pitcher. For secrecy's sake, they're talking with their gloves over their mouths. Someday, that's going to be us. Huh? Wait, what? But, but how? Your parents won't even let you join my team because you're a girl. Besides, when I grow up, I'll be a, a doctor or an engineer. Huh? How come? My parents said so. So? My parents said to pass my math test, and I failed. That's not something to be proud of. I, I don't know how you do it. I, I wouldn't be able to handle disappointing my parents like that. It's like my worst fear. If your worst fear is disappointing your parents, that means your parents effed up. You should be able to do what you want without worrying about what they think. I don't know. That, that seems selfish. It's not selfish to choose your own destiny. That's right. Boy, howdy. I am absolutely loving this so far. It's not selfish to pursue your destiny. I love that. Uh, right now, we're at the Oakland Coliseum with Min's dad and June. I guess I should explain where Oakland is to people who don't live in California. Do you know where San Francisco is? Yes. Well, we're not there. We're like 30 minutes from there. Hey, Dia? Huh? I have something I need to tell you. Something important. I, uh... Never mind, forget it. 
Uh... I said forget it! Don't worry about it! Aren't you having fun right now? Uh, are you hungry or anything? Why are you changing the subject? If you're trying to distract me, it's not gonna work. Let's go get popcorn and share! Exclamation mark. Popcorn is great! I like popcorn. Min is so nice to me. Just uh, tell me when you're ready to go. The popcorn guy is a few rows behind us. Use the mouse to interact. All right. Who doesn't love a good mini game in a visual novel? Look at empty seat. Talk to Min. Look at the diamond. Look at woman. Let's look at the empty seat first. This is Jun Seo's seat. He went to the bathroom with Dad. All right. Um, let's look at the diamond. I think Min is going for the loudest sound in history world record. What do you mean, safe? You need to get some goddamn laser eye surgery. I hope the person you like likes someone else. Give me a break. Cough. Hack. Wheeze. <gasps> I choked on my own spit. Which is exactly what I'm going to do with this voice I'm doing for Min. <laughs> Just a sec. Sorry, I had to take a little, little drinky drink. She looks absolutely mortified, so Dia turns back to the diamond and pretends she didn't see anything. Let's see, let's look at woman. She's cradling something in her arms. Dog? Dia quickly jogs over to take a look. To her severe disappointment, it's a baby. Yeah, babies are the worst. Min? Yeah? Um... Why don't we talk about school? I hope we're in the same class next year. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, actually, about that, uh... <gasps> Never mind, everything's fine! This is really suspicious. She's acting weird again, like earlier. What is it? Do, do you not want to be in the same class as me? No, that's not it! It's just that I won't be, uh... Um... Forget it. Is this related to what she couldn't tell me before? I bet Junsio will know what this is all about. Hmm... Are you sure nothing's wrong? Are you sure everything is okay? Y yeah stop worrying. I don't think I'm getting anywhere questionnaire like this. Let's go get popcorn. Let's go. Okay. Dia and Min got up. <laughs> By the way, I just recently went to a uh, baseball game. Um, went to a baseball game with the SO and we... Uh, <laughs> Just uh, essentially talked the entire time with a bunch of their friends and co-workers and stuff. I did not look at the, the field once, I don't think. <laughs> that shows you my interest in baseball. I saw the popcorn guy pass these people. Min is gawking excitedly at all the baseball fans milling about. Look, there's so many white people here. It's just like on TV. <laughs> it really is. The neighborhood we live in is so Asian that I think that I used to think white people were really rare. Too bad all these people are in our way right now, though. We can't get through. I'm gonna ask them to move. Excuse me. No one seems to hear her. Dot, dot, dot. That was the worst. I'm never speaking again. Time to become a mime. Woo! Yikes. Mimes are my number one fear. Well, I guess mimes would be my number two fear. My number one fear is snake in the toilet. Don't worry, Dia. I'll take care of it. Okay. Min grabs someone's baseball bat off the ground and starts hitting people with it. Yikes! Wow! Wow! Hey, you dummies! Move or I'll kill you! Startled, people are moving aside, as they should. Dot, dot, dot. Alright, what's up here? The strangers glance over in Dia's direction as she walks by. One whispers something to the other. They both burst out laughing. Are they laughing at me? I hope not. This is this game is 100% relatable to me. Everything but baseball so far. Keep walking towards Popcorn Guy. Look at that dog in the corner. That is a good dog. Min continues to forge a path, leaving a trail of destruction behind her. <laughs> nice music. Move or I'll kill your entire family. Even if your dang even your dang fish won't survive. I'll throw all your fish out into the middle of the street so cars will run over them. Gosh dang, it's a little intense. It's like a circus fire. I know this looks bad, but Min really isn't a bad person. She always lets me be Luigi in Mario Kart. Wow. And whenever I land on her space in Monopoly, she says I don't need to pay her. Die! 
Da, da, da. We're almost there now. Obviously, we're going to take time to look at dog. It's a, it's a dog. Cute dog. It doesn't look very strong. I bet I could kill it in one hit. Don't do that. I'm going to pet it. By the way, maybe someone should take the baseball bat away from her. Let's ask the owner if we can pet it. Okay. See, we, we got to get Dia over this shyness thing. All I have to do is ask, excuse me, can we pet your dog? I better practice a few times so I don't mess up when I really say it. Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? <laughs> Alright, I got this. Let us pet your dog or else! That works too. Go ahead, she won't bite. I'll fight you, Waitman. He already agreed. Oh, right. Yeah, pet dog. If we get a pet dog, get a dog petting simulator out of this, that will be the best day of my life. Dia pets the dog. Oh no, we don't get that. The dog closes its eyes and smiles. I love whenever a dog smiles. <gasps> Dia is almost in tears. She's like a living rug. If you had a dog, what would you name it? Good question. <laughs> Palm or Shibe? Um, is this is this a a reference to Palm gets Wi-Fi? Uh, Shibe. Shiba. What the heck kind of name is that? Cool name. It's short for Shiba Inu. Sounds dumb. Then what would you name your dog, Min? Me? Hmm. Min is thinking with an intense look on her face. Skull Crusher. <gasps> Dia is silently laughing at her. Of course you'd choose a name like that. What? It's better than Shiba. What's wrong with Shiba? Um, are we all done with dog? Yeah. Let's approach the popcorn guy. Popcorn! Popcorn! Ta ta ta. He looks busy. I give up. Time to walk away. Hey, Grandpa! Give us popcorn or else! <gasps> Min is so brave. Then you better pay up. These are $10 a bucket. $10? Yikes. That's pretty crazy. What a ripoff! Min hit the man in the groin with her bat. See what I mean? Maybe someone should take the bat away from Min. Oof. The man sinks to the ground as if he's been shot. Min grabs a popcorn bucket out of his tray. I got it. Let's go. <laughs> um, are you okay, dude? He's still curled up in pain. We better go before he recovers and comes after us. Yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Oh, it's my dad. Yuck. Min's dad is really mad at her for cutting her hair like that. He's speaking Korean on the phone. I wonder what he's talking about. Min only taught me one through four so far. Dia must have been frowning without knowing it because Min speaks up. Do you want to learn more? <gasps> sure. How do you say hi in Korean? Hi? Easy. It's, uh, hmm. <gasps> Does she not know how to say it? It's that. <laughs> I don't know any Korean friends. I'm sorry, I can't help you out there. S sarong, sarong A? That. That? That. That? Min is staring at Dia with really complicated expression on her face. What, am I saying it right? E e yeah, that was good. Cool, now I can greet you and Jun Seo like this. N no, wait, you can't say that to Jun. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's not how you say hi at all, is it? Huh? Why not? Because, uh, it's a special kind of hello. You can only say it to certain people, like me. Oh, is it one of those things where if you use the wrong one, it's really bad? Y yeah, something like that. It's tough to explain. Wow, it sounds like Min has a crush on us. And maybe that version of hi is one only reserved for... You know, uh, someone that you are romantically interested in? Huh. Like I said, I don't know any Koreans, so... Uh, it's tough to explain, but it's correct when I say it to you. Yeah! So only say it to me. Got it? Got it. Wow, Korean is really complicated. Oh, poor Dia. What about you? How do you say hi? How do you say hi? <laughs> Let's teach her I like to fart. Oh. I like to... That says I like to fart. What the? That's so long! I, uh... I like to fart. 
I like to fart! <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Your pronunciation is great. Oh, maybe they both just taught each other something inappropriate. Let's look back over at the strangers. I can't make out what they're saying. I hope they're not saying bad stuff about me. Hmm. He's still talking on the phone. Doesn't sound like he's using the phrase men just taught me. I guess there's not a lot of opportunities to say hi in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> hey, let's hurry up and sit down. Junsio is probably wondering where we are. She's right. Poor Junsio. Um. Yeah, I've definitely... It's so sad to think of children having to put up with, you know, stupid adults whispering to one another and laughing about, you know, the kid being different. I... Gosh, that's awful. Uh, there you guys are. Where'd you guys go? The dog. Dia, that's really cryptic. Is it? Here, take this. Min gives Dia the popcorn bucket. <gasps> Min, where'd you get that bat? Please don't tell me you did something bad. Oh, yes, Min did something bad. Yeah, it was fun. No, you have to stop stealing and threatening people. It's dangerous. What if someone came after you? I beat them. Even if there was a bear, I'd kill with my bare hands. Man, that's impossible. I'll punch it real hard in the head like, wham! Dead. It's not that easy. You'll just get mauled. Yeah, right. I'll dodge. I bet I can kill two different bears at once. Man, no. It's useless. I don't think Min's brain even knows what fear is. Not yet. Jeez, June, you really sound like Noelle sometimes. Noelle is my best friend. She's the kid in class who goes... But wait, you forgot to collect our homework. I introduced Min to her a while back, but it was like hate at first sight. <laughs> I think Min wants to kill her. By the way, not really a fan of people like that. <laughs> uh, uh, someday when Dia decides she doesn't like Noelle anymore, I'll kill her. I'll kill her to death. Don't do that. Even though Noelle is taller than you, someday I'll be the tallest. I won't lose to her. What does that have to do with anything? Also, if I was peeling an orange for you, I'd make sure to get all the white stringy stuff off, too. I bet Noelle wouldn't do that. What the heck kind of scenario is this? Why would you guys even be peeling oranges for me? Just because, uh, forget it. <laughs> this game is really cute. Um, let's eat some popcorn. D eats some popcorn. 10 out of 10. Would eat again. Let's talk to June. Junsio? Is there something going on with Min? Like, did she do a felony? Are the police after her? Uh, not that I know of. Why? She's been acting kind of weird all day. It's like she's hiding something. Really? I haven't noticed anything odd. Huh. I guess if even Junsio isn't concerned, everything is fine. Whew. I can just enjoy the game without worrying now. Soft from popcorn. Dia holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks! Junsio took a single piece of popcorn. Uh, you can take more than that. Really? You're so nice! Junsio took another single piece of popcorn. Never mind. <laughs> Min! Yeah? Uh, offer a popcorn. Dia holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks! Min happily grabs a fistful of popcorn and stuffs it into her mouth. Talk about baseball? You know, I've been wondering for a while. If your parents won't let you play baseball, why don't you just play softball instead? Give me your hand. I'll show you. Huh? Dia offers Min her hand. Min presses their palms together so that their hands lined up. Her fingerprints and or her fingertips end a whole inch below Dia's. Her hands are tiny. I guess that makes sense since her name's Min. Ha ha. The rest of her is Minnie, too. My hand is too small to grip a softball correctly. I can't even pitch them. They always slip out halfway through the windup. Huh? Are softballs that much bigger than baseballs? Yeah, they're pretty big. Yeah. But that makes no sense. Shouldn't guys play softball and girls play baseball then? Since guys usually have bigger hands. It's backwards. Why is it designed like that? Uh... Yeah, I guess that does make sense. You know, I I was on a softball league, not for very long, uh, for a few months. I tried to get into it. I really tried to get into it, but I just couldn't. Fortunately, I just, I, I don't think I'm designed for sports. 
beats me. Hmm. Wait, are there more things to say to June? Uh, Junecio. Oh, no. We've already looked at the field, right? Oh, the visiting team is pitching now. Eh? Whoa, some kid behind us is talking to his dad. Dad, who's that? It's Tim Wakefield. He's a knuckleball pitcher. It's always fun watching these guys. Knuckleballers are pretty rare. The movement on that pitch is nuts, like a butterfly with hiccups. Wow, some people actually talk to their parents on purpose, like, for fun. I can't even imagine it. Every time I talk to my parents, it somehow turns into a lecture about something I did wrong. So I only talk to them now when I absolutely have to. How come they switch catchers too? Because catching a knuckleball is really unpleasant and difficult. If you can do it reasonably well, no one does it really well, that one skill can keep you on the team. A lot of knuckleball pitchers end up having one catcher who specializes in catching that pitch just for them. They're called personal catchers. For instance, J.C. Martin always caught Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball, and Doug Mirabelli always catches Tim Wakefield and his knuckleball for the Red Sox. The two of them even get traded together as a set. It's kind of a weird baseball marriage. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dia, I have a great idea! I should learn to throw knuckleball, and you can catch it for me! Wait, but didn't they just say it's really hard to catch? So what? You're like a baseball goddess! You're overestimating me. I'm not that great. I just got lucky that one time. You've gotten lucky so many times, I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, you don't understand. All those were flukes. They just happened by chance. I don't have a special technique or anything. Your special technique is being you. Aw, that's really sweet. I gotta say also, speaking of whenever I was playing softball, I, I was really good at batting. Not so much at anything else, but when it came time to bat, I was always, I always did a fantastic job. So, you know, and and everyone would be like, "Oh my gosh, how'd you, you know, how'd you do that? Are you, did you take lessons or something?" And I'm like, "No, I guess I just kind of got lucky." <laughs> so I definitely understand how that can happen, but something tells me Dia is gonna, you know, be like a real sports player, and I'm just, I'm not. Anyway, this isn't about me. You're the best. You're putting too much faith in me. I'm not that good. When you see what I'm really like, you'll be like, That's it? I'll never think that. Even if I could catch it, are you really willing to be a pitcher? Why not? The pitcher is the coolest. You're so brave. I hate pitching. Why? You get to stand on the mound and kick ass in front of everyone. But that's exactly why. I don't want people watching every move I make. Especially if I'm the only girl. If I mess up, it'll look like all girls suck at baseball. Then don't mess up! That's hard, and that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself, Dia. Way too much pressure. It's a situation where you can't help but be scared. Anyway, I'll be there with you. If there's two of us, we both have to mess up for them to think that. <laughs> I love it. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Da da da. That's kind of comforting. I've always been alone out there. It'll be you and me against the world! Okay. Let's do it. Wow, the writing in this game is really spectacular. I was tricked. Oh, I think we maybe missed one of the look at woman um, prompts there because I thought it would be the same thing as before. Men, yeah, never mind. Are we done with Juncio as well? Yeah, never mind. Look at the diamond again. Oh, the batter hit the ball. It pops up foul. It's coming towards us! Dia catches the ball in the popcorn bucket. Whoa! I got so lucky! Yeah! Wow, Dia, that was so cool! You're so cool! Dia fishes the ball out of the half-empty tub. I better give this to June or Min. My parents think I went to study at Noel's house. It'd be too suspicious to bring a baseball back. Min sits back down. Apparently, she'd gotten up at some point to jump around and scream. She still looks really odd. Thanks. Huh? For what? Existing. Oh, this game is already really pulling at my heartstrings. This is one of the most wonderful things I've played uh, in a while, actually. Gosh dang it, this is excellence. There's barely any popcorn left. 
Most of it exploded out when the ball landed in the tub. Juncio? Oh, we get to choose who to give the baseball to. Well, obviously we're going to give the baseball to Min. Dia holds the baseball out to Min. Can I really have it? I'll treasure it forever. If anyone else touches it, I'll kill them. That's way too extreme. It's a big deal, though. Now I'll always have something to remember you by. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, of course this has to happen after my heartstrings are getting pulled at. Oh, my gosh. Wow, I think I just legit- yeah, I legitimately just teared up there. Ay ay ay, question mark. They're moving away. What do you mean, remember me by? That makes it sound like I'm gonna die or something. Well, like, the worst thing about them moving is with Min no longer being in school with um, Dia anymore and not being in the same town and stuff, I'm sure that Dia's gonna feel a lot more lonely being different from other people. Gosh, this is really sad. Junsio looks alarmed by Dia's response. Did, did Min not tell you? Tell me what? Weird. Shut the hell your mouth! What, what the heck? It's nothing! At the shut up! Min gets up and runs for it. Min! We've gotta go after her. Dia chases Min up the steps and down the concourse they arrived through. Min! Dia grabs the back of Min's hoodie. Min loses her balance and face plants onto the carpet. Are you okay? We're moving away! Where? To Florida! Tomorrow! Wait, you you waited until the day before? Tomorrow? So sudden! It wasn't sudden! I've known for a long time! I tried everything to stop it! I even threatened Dad with a knife! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it failed! Violence is always the answer! Uh, Florida? That's all the way across the country! There's nothing there except old people! No, alligators live there too! I saw an animal planet! So... This is it? This is it. Sorry. But that's not fair. We can't even send letters because my parents hate you so much. I won't see you the rest of my life. Hey, just because I'm moving doesn't mean we'll never meet again. If I want to see you and you want to see me, eventually it'll end up happening again, right? How do you know? I just know. That's not a reason. Then, because... Suddenly, Min seizes Dia's arm. She looks like she's had an epiphany. If you say our names together, it sounds like Diamond. What? Like Diamond. 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 See? It's even more like it if you say your name wrong, like Daya instead of Dia. I'm not saying my name wrong just to make it sound like Diamond. But it's more equal like that. My name got cut in half to make it work, so I had to sacrifice something too. I already call you Min. No one says Daya. The substitute teacher does. The substitute teacher sucks. How do you even think of this? I was checking if our names sounded like anything good together, like baseball. How could it possibly sound like baseball? Our parents would have had to name us Base and Ball. I know, I know. But still, it's pretty cool that we match it all, right? And it's even baseball related. The universe is saying we're meant to be together. Whoa, I guess she's right. We'll meet again no matter what. I bet you a hundred bucks. Wait, but how are you going to give me the a hundred bucks if you lose? Huh? I, I just will. No, but if you're able to meet me, that means you won the bet. What? <laughs> Technically, I guess. There's nothing technical about it. You just straight up wouldn't pay me. That's There's a long silence. She still doesn't get it. Never mind, it's okay. Yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. The point is, this isn't the end. I won't give up if you don't give up, okay? Okay, I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. Okay. Five years later. Ninth grade. 
We are gonna stop that horrible noise. We're gonna save. All right. Sorry. I was gonna, I was gonna um, uh, give a little outro, but I I couldn't stand the noise anymore. Um. Anyway. Uh. Wow. That. So gotta say a little abrupt into the next scene. I would have liked maybe um, a little cool down because that was a pretty, pretty intense emotional scene. Um. Anyway, this game is really, really excellent so far. I'm absolutely loving this. I can't wait to keep going. Although, so far, it doesn't seem like there's, uh, uh, you know, any options for who we want to choose. So I guess uh, leave a comment and let me know who you would like me to pursue if there is going to be an option. Or, you know what, maybe I'll just follow my heart. I think, I'll, I think probably I'll just follow my heart unless... Unless I get enough people swaying me in a particular direction. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching Kip Plays Butterfly Soup. I have been and I uh, will continue to be Kip Icon as long as you guys continue to what? Follow your drams. Bye!